Hello there fellow music fans, this video is my top 5 Iron Maiden albums. Now with them having 16 studio albums, condensing my favourites into the top 5 I found quite difficult. I could definitely tell you the top 3 albums I listened to more than, any, more than the others. Picking 4th and 5th place I found quite tough. Um, before I tell you what my top 5 albums are, there was a lad at school, now in the final year of school, I got into the band by the way in 1991. Before, no sorry, um, there was a lad at school yeah in 91 in the final year at school, he was allowed to listen to Aces High in the class, Probably quite possibly English it could have been. I wish I remembered what book we were reading as part of our coursework. But anyway, he was allowed to play that song. Obviously heard Aces High. And obviously that sort of sparked your interest in the band. Anyway, right, fifth place is Number of the Beast. Now, I wish they would play Invaders more live. And definitely The Prisoner. But on here, yeah, The Prisoner, Run With The Beast. I don't listen to Run To The Hills as much as I used to. Uh, but recently I've been going towards like the more deep cuts, like Gangland and Total Eclipse. Uh, stuff like that here. There's not much you can say really. It's just a top, top class album. Obviously back in, I think was it was about 81 when this came out. I mean, obviously reading and watching videos and things, you know. Obviously, a bit like Black Sabbath, people assume that they're a satanic band. Hmm. Fourth place is Peace of Mind. The songs on here that definitely stick out that I listen to more than anything, definitely when Eagles Day, because you get the opening uh, drum fill, don't you? <laughs> um, Revelations, Flight of Icarus. The favourite song I listen to the most on here, believe it or not, is Die With Your Boots On. I mean, the Trooper's fantastic as well, but you've heard the Trooper about a million times. But live, I wish they would put Die With Your Boots On back in the set list. Fourth, third place, sorry. Yeah, I love the artwork on this. Power Slave. There's like a joke online saying when I think about history and that kind of stuff and the pyramids and that, you see this artwork. <laughs> if it focuses. But yeah, uh, on this album, but yeah, like I said, it starts off with the Aces High. Two minutes to midnight. Lucifer's words. I wish they would play live. Back in the village. That opening. New, 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 new. And the album closes out with Rhyme of, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Power Slave as well. But yeah, superb, superb album. This is where it's getting now into the top two. Now, I remember, I mean, I remember when Bruce Dickinson left. Uh, it was a couple of years after he released the Fear of the Dark album, which again, it's got some good songs on it. Um, yeah, Bruce Dickinson left, and on Channel 4, here in the UK, they did, um, there was a show on. And I'm sure it was a magician. And I wish to the for the life of me I remembered his name. But yeah, they played a, a concert. And then at the end of the show, basically, um, yeah, they killed Bruce at the end when he left the band. I mean, obviously, Bruce, uh, Blaze Bailey took over for what, about five years. Did two albums. The X Factor, actually, is not that bad. It's a bit darker, but it's not too bad. There's a few good songs on that that I wish they'd play. Like. I mean, they do play some of the... Bruce Dickinson, I mean Blaze Bailey era, live. I wish Judas Priest would do that with the Tim Owen stuff, but they won't, that's a, but that's another question. But um, yeah, so when Bruce Dickinson rejoined the band, 
I think was it in 99, something like that, a year later, they released Brave New World. And, as you see on the back of there, Adrian Smith, the former guitar player who left in 1990, came back at the same time. I remember being in HMV, putting their listening post on. I mean, obviously, this is like the year 2000, this album come out. So, what, 22 years ago. So, before MP3s and streaming services like Spotify and all this didn't exist. So, you go in HMV, put the headphones on. They had any new releases on their post, listening posting. Cycle through. And the Wicker Man came on. And I wasn't even aware that Bruce had even come back. Um, and it, the song kicked off you know I didn't even know what it was at first as soon as the vocal started oh you knew straight away and I bought the album obviously when it came out but yeah this album is fantastic yeah The Wicker Man Ghost of the Navigator Brave New World Blood Brothers Staple Live Mercenary Dream of Mirrors Out of the Silent Planet and then it ends with the thin line between love and hate but what a strong album that really is. I mean, I've been learning to play the Wicker Man on my guitar, or at least the main melody anyway. And then first place, what do you think it is? It had to be Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Sorry that the artwork's uh, that sticker that's in the way. But, uh, yeah. I mean, this out of all the albums they've got, this is the one I go back to the most. And he starts off with the absolutely amazing Moonchild. What I like about that song is I like the way it's the song just builds and builds and builds and then it... Yeah, Infinite Dreams, sometimes the fans go on about they want, they want to be played live a lot more. Should do, really. Can I play a madness? The evil that men do. Seventh son of the seventh son. The prophecy, the clairvoyance, and only the good die young. Absolutely amazing. Really is. Uh, I've got a sixth album here. I could, have, I could have easily put this in fifth place. Somewhere in time. Again, very strong album, but I could have easily put that in fifth place instead of Number of the Beast. It's because it's got Wasted Tears on it. Sea of Madness, Heaven Can Wait is a brilliant song. And it ends with Alexander the Great. But yeah, but I mean, Iron Maiden's another one of those bands. I wonder sometimes when you get some of these classic bands, at some point they'll retire. And I'm really fussy in terms of what music I buy to add to my collection. I probably should listen to some of these newer bands a bit more. But probably, you know, because some of us are a bit stuck in your ways of what you like and stuff. But yeah, anyway, in the comments, put down here and tell me what your top five favourite albums are. I mean, I'm quite new to all this making videos, talking about your music collection. So if the video's all over the place, until I get used to it. Um, I've got a couple of guitar progress videos on my channel as well. So if you go on my channel, go and have a look at them as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure how often to do these videos. It could be every few weeks to a month, I'm not really sure. But yeah, thank you.